Our sixth fallacy is quite a, 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 a common one. Ad poplum, the argument from the people. In other words, in, 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 it is really taking something like a variety of, of people, you know, everyone is doing something, and then moving from that to therefore x is true or good or correct. So this is an argument from the basis of what people are, are doing. We often use that in, 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 kind, in, in our, our thinking, you know, what if everyone did that or if nobody did that or et cetera, et cetera. So that's, that's common in our reasoning. Um, so in, in that sense, um, it trades, uh, shall we say, when you think about it, it trades on something like this. Everyone is doing this. So we could say that this is means that accepted. So if everyone's doing it, yeah, it would be uh, uh, something that's, so X then is accepted. What it moves to, though, is slightly different, and this is what makes it very a very suspect uh, argument, in other words, a fallacy. It moves from the accepted to saying, well, it's acceptable. So accepted and acceptable are very different, right? You look at history, lots of things were accepted, but we today might look back and go, oh man, what they accepted back then was, was awful. That's not acceptable at all. So that's an important thing to consider when you're thinking about, um, about, about community standards and all these kinds of things, whether or not we're moving uh, from this. So if you, if, if you think about it, as I mentioned earlier, it does relate back to our other uh, discussion of the argument from authority, right? Like communities are sometimes regarded as authorities and they set the norms and the standards. It is a kind of argument that, that looks a lot like this. Well, the community decides what people are doing and then makes the stronger claim that what is not just uh, what is, is uh, people are doing is not just accepted, but it is now acceptable. So what I want to do is uh, is take a few minutes and look at this particular kind of reasoning, which is, is problematic in many ways. And some people think it's not completely problematic. So it becomes an interesting philosophical uh, item to, uh, to think is the whole concept of uh, cultural relativism. I'm going to abbreviate that by CR so I don't have to write that out all the time. And what I want to look at is uh, how this kind of thinking is embedded in cultural relativism and why some people think it's a, a, a good way uh, to, to think about issues and problems and particularly ethics and uh, why it could be perceived as a bad way and just make some philosophical reflections uh, on, on the whole notion of trying to think about your ethics within the context uh, of a culture.